Hey guys! I moved out and I'm still perplexed on how several years of stupid videos, mostly about destroying electronics, got me here. So, join me on this tour of a millennial's unrealistic life goal. Also known as Animal Crossing IRL. Let's go! First up is the office. I'm not going to talk about this room too much because I tried to keep the set the same as the last setup tour video. So go watch that if you want a deeper insight into all the junk I have in here. The one major change is the desk. I spend way too much time sitting while editing my stupid videos, so I upgraded to a standing desk from Wayfair. I didn't want to clutter it with too much junk as to not burn out the motors. I also put these Mac Pros alongside it to make me feel like a professional editor, when in reality my main machine is a 16 inch MacBook Pro. Here's my cable management, I just hide that, and you'll be seeing these throughout the entire tour. I switched from Amazon to Google, and now I have a big brother in almost every room. I also got really lazy with hanging things up as you can see. The only things I hung up here are my play buttons. I didn't want to deal with nails or screws, so I just bought command strips that emulate a nail. You're not supposed to use them on textured walls, but I don't care. My gold play button isn't centered, because I'm saving space for my vlog channel gold play button. We still have a decent ways to go, so subscribe! TV setup is pretty much almost the same. The closet, still used for keeping Nintendo boxes, and... Apple boxes, plus stuff for videos, shelves full of useless stuff I like to call collectibles, camera stuff in this corner, and more useless stuff I have on display for some reason. I hung up all the Mario plushes I have that can fly. <laughs> I also really like that I have carpet now, as the sound is much better. No more echoing like in the old office. Now as we exit, Let's pray for the shoe holder that's holding a bunch of controllers, because it really needs it. Now moving on to the kitchen, the most modern part of the house, because the last owners decided to renovate it a year before selling it. I love this on-the-wall oven, even though it's probably going to be the appliance I use the least. But my favorite appliance that I probably won't use much is the stove. Look how slick it is. It's electric, so I don't have to worry about any random explosions. And it's so easy to clean. I mean, if I actually decide to ever use it, thanks to this guy above. Here's the fridge the house came with. I don't know how much it was, but I made sure to make it look as cheap as possible. Here we have Solange Bowser, and here we have where the water comes out. So I put this Mario Sunshine magnet on here. Very clever, am I right? And below here, this is a sunshine boss where you have to fill with water in order to kill. And it's right here where the water comes out. Aren't I very clever? Also empty cereal boxes. If this breaks, I'll buy a Samsung smart fridge for the lols. And in these kitchen cabinets, I used it to show off my special collection of mugs, water bottles that I will never use, disposable waste, and that. Since I moved out, I can now use the dishwasher for its intended purpose. I tried it recently, and it actually did a pretty decent job. No more hand washing for me. <laughs> RGB forks! This cool thing. Whoa! It spins! Thank you, Pac-Man! And more cabinets than I know what to do with! There's like, a random one here. Maybe I can turn this into a fallout shelter or something? Special shout out to my friend who got me this plaque from Animal Crossing! This is Animal Crossing in real life! These lights look cool, but I can't tell you how many times I accidentally hit them with my head because of how low they are! In the dining room, I bought this table from a local furniture store because I like the modern wood look. It kinda matches the floor. The cool thing about this floor is that it looks like wood, but it's actually tile. So when I slam electronics on this, it won't scratch. Downside is, it gets pretty cold, so socks are a necessity if you don't want your feet to get sick. Also, I guess if you accidentally trip 
and slammed your head on this floor, you'll probably die. There's nothing much in the hallway, except for this Nest thermostat that I installed all by myself. And I'm very proud of that. This was the old one. Gross. In the entryway, I had someone paint this door red. Because when I was looking at other houses, I saw a door with the same red and gold color combo, and I fell in love. This door's original color was shameful. I also got a red curtain to complement the door. They also installed this smart lock for me, because I didn't want to screw it up. And now the only thing I have to remember to take with me when I go out is my phone. And that makes it worth it. I did install this smart doorbell by myself though. And, for certain holidays, you can set it to have custom ring sounds. That's all the outside decorating I did for Christmas. It was a nice upgrade from this doorbell. Also in the entryway is a closet where I keep my failed startup company skateboard. We also have a mirror, so girls can see if they're good looking enough before they come in. And the rest of my Nintendo plush collection so they know what they're in for and can leave right away. This is the Super Mario 35th Anniversary Game & Watch. I just keep it plugged in and it makes a neat clock. I didn't want the rechargeable battery to swell up from being constantly plugged in, so I removed it, and it works fine without it. And finally, down below is my collection of Club Nintendo calendars. I felt like guests would appreciate knowing what month it is when they walk in. Now, the bedroom. I gave into the shilling YouTubers and bought a purple mattress. It's fine. I also just recently bought a recliner because I thought it would just be fun to have one. I don't know. For the entertainment in this bedroom, I used this projector and shined it on this white wall. This room used to have purple and orange walls, but I had people painted white for this reason. I also built a pyramid out of the extra Nintendo consoles I had lying around. Yeah, I sleep surrounded by a lot of old tech, cause I didn't know what else to do with them. We also upgraded all of the ceiling fans in the house to these modern looking ones. Here's what the old ones look like. Gross. The downside is how many new Philips Hue bulbs I had to buy for them. But it's worth it, because I don't have to get out of bed to do this. Hey turn off the bedroom lights. Let me tell you. A bathroom inside of a bedroom is life-changing. I recommend everyone get one installed right away. Having the closet inside of your bathroom is even better, because if you forget your change of clothes after you're done showering, you don't have to run across the entire house naked. Wow, more than enough space. So much space that I can put stuff on display for everyone that will be visiting my bathroom closet. And the stuff I want no one to see can go in the darkest, deepest corner of the closet. Pro tip, if you want your toilet to look more modern for cheap, just replace the flusher. Mmm, tasteful. This is what the old one looked like. Yuck. No, actually yuck. Why did I keep this? This bathroom also used to be purple, so that had to be fixed. The previous owners also renovated the cabinets to look exactly like the kitchens. They didn't renovate the shower though, this is the original. We renovated the handle and the shower head. I chose this one cuz square. You can sit while you shower. But it feels gross so I don't do that anymore. And this is what the guest bathroom shower looked like. Before we renovated it. Mmm, so much better now. Square. When I was in the bathroom, I realized my hair was disgusting, ironically, so I took a shower. And now I'm just gonna do the rest of the video with wet hair. Alright, laundry room. Nothing much here to say, except this brand is crap. But I can't complain since these things were free. Actually, I was able to get $300 off the house price because they said the dryer takes longer to dry than usual. Free money since I just hang my clothes to air dry after washing anyway. Now this is a fun one. I call this room the VR room. This was an extra room. I already had a guest room, so I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. But then it hit me. Why not have a dedicated room to play my VR headsets in without any worry of space or breaking anything? I put up some posters to make it more fun, and I got this very fitting rug from Ruggable. Once again, I gave it to the shilling YouTubers. 
Still very echoey in here, though. It's also the only room with a skylight. Wow. This room also used to be purple. What was up with the last owners in purple? Now let's go into the garage. I wonder what's in here. There she is. Mwah. Still slow charging, but I did install some cable management. This house is actually a downgrade because she kept tripping the breaker, so I had to lower the charging speed. I do want to get a second Tesla sometime in the future, so I'll probably have to upgrade the breaker box so it can handle more voltage or whatever terminology you use. Also in the garage, this is my house, so I say yes to putting car-related collectibles in here. Lots of cabinets in here too, as if I didn't have enough already inside. Also, one of the handyman lent me his ladder and never came to pick it up, so please come back and get it or else I'm keeping it. If you ever plan to move in the future, you should always keep the boxes for your TVs, as it makes them easier to transport and harder to break. That's a plain rock tech tip! Also, I don't know why I still have the next-gen consoles I destroyed, along with the mini-fridge I used to destroy them with. Speaking of that... The backyard, where the destruction videos took place. Nothing much to say about this place, except this has got to go. And I hate lawns. I'm planning to have someone dig it all up and put concrete tiles on top of it or something in the summertime. Don't worry, I'll make sure they leave the Christmas tree intact. Speaking of that, here's our Christmas tree. It's the first one I've ever had in my life. I got a short one because I didn't want to deal with any hassle of putting it away. Same reason why I didn't get any ornaments for it. And it's in the final room of the tour! The living room! And the centerpiece of it is a scam! I bought this couch from a rental store. It was a few hundred dollars cheaper online, but it was out of stock everywhere online, so I had to pay extra at a place where you should never go to buy anything. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't see you there. I was just doing some light reading. Uh, I got this coffee table from Wayfair, and it had a special feature that made me want it. It can do this! And yes, those are corner guards meant for children, because when I want to sit down, I have to step around them, and if I come in contact with one without the guard, it really hurts. Another rug from the YouTuber Shill Company. I think the reason I wanted these rugs is because they're non-slip, and also because they are machine washable. But knowing me, I'll probably be too lazy to wash them, no matter how dirty they get. Oh yeah, I forgot I had one more YouTuber shill item in the house. Uh, YouTubers wouldn't be shilling items if they didn't work on people like me. And here we have a gas fireplace I'm too scared to use. As you can see, I mean, these things have no point. It's called central heating. Lovely mantelpieces. Also in the living room are my two slaves. One sucks the floor and one makes it wet. Cause I don't feel like doing it myself. Get it? Cause they're robots? That's why I put these here? Aren't I clever? But if I have to do manual sucking, I bought this refurbished Dyson. And here we have another setup. First off, this is the largest LG OLED TV I could find that was a reasonable price. The next larger one costs as much as a brand new f***ing car. And it's sitting on top of a TV stand that came from Wayfair. And just like everything else that came from Wayfair, I had to build it myself. Fun. Non-scalped PS5 that I haven't bought any games for yet. Nintendo Switch, surrounded by some other Nintendo doodads. This space is for an Xbox Series X, if there's ever a good reason to buy one. And finally, a Google Stadia I got for free for having YouTube Premium that I'm probably just gonna keep in its box. Let's end this video on Google Stadia. And so with that, thank you guys for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later with more content from the Virgin House. Bye! And for those of you asking, what's your next goal in life? 
Well, I think I'll aim to move to California and buy the Malcolm in the Middle house. Seems reasonable. Looks like I have some work to do.